Yo, what's up guys? How you guys doing? Today's video, I'll be reviewing the Tempt B Chief Fuel flavor inspired by The Boys, an exclusive show that's going on around Amazon TV, Amazon Prime. I have the collector's box with everything inside, ready to try out this flavor. I'm quite excited for this one. This is another big collab that Chief has secured. I'm surprised, because you know how the show is. And I'm quite excited. This is the first collector's box they're gonna release, and they're gonna release one more exclusively on Amazon so you guys be prepared it's gonna release on the 29th of August this month and as well as the cans the compound V cans that I've seen as well they're gonna release this month different flavor not the same flavor it's a coconut limeade something something in the G Fuel cans compound V I'm pretty sure that's gonna be the same as the powder form just in can form this flavor released it on the G Fuel website temp V it's supposed to be a sour lemon limeade flavor if I'm not mistaken but just to make sure I'll leave the flavor name in the screen the like the a picture of it to see if I'm not mistaken or not but I'm pretty sure it's a sour limeade lemon but enough of that let me give you guys a look at this collector's box that I have here this beautiful amazing box that we have here Amazing details. I like the way they change it up for each side. There you guys go. We got the boys, of course. Of um, I haven't watched the show. I just know it's a popular show in, out there. I just we got um, the one of the main characters. I don't know who she is. The boys, Tim V, a nice called patriotic compound V. What's it called design in the background? G for energy formula, like a um, gooey. It's called paint or something dripping and we have the side one of the you know potions whatever what's called down with um super soups that was soups that's it says the background of course and a full look of the back you know the same characters as the fronts the potion 10 vg for etc the boys and then we have this side down here i'm pretty sure that's the superhero company with reaction endurance focus and energy and they change it up for each one as well. Of course, the speedster from the show, the whatever that thing is. I know that's a head with like a helmet or something. We got focus, beams, and we got reaction, a star. I love the way they change it up for this. All right, I'm gonna give you guys a look at the shaker and then the tub. I have an idea what the show is about, but I haven't watched it fully or to know the characters, every character on it. I just watch clips on TikTok or on YouTube because there's a lot of people that release it but I have an idea I know who this main character is but I just forget his name each time when I'm not watching it I got no sticker I only got the shaker in the tub I don't know if any of you guys got the sticker hold up if you guys did please let me know it's called I have a deformed tub look at that what is that it's sealed and the rest of the side just this side right here is open you guys can see that clearly Right there, you see? Open, I didn't even touch it, I just brought it out. What is this abomination? All right, let me give you guys a look at this beautiful shaker, all green, blue, and a, like silver gray, tilted gray, tilted black, I mean. However you wanna say it, it's just, I get confused with the colors too. And I love this, I love this. Representing the freaking Tent V brand, you know? I'll give you guys a full loop around the boys right there the two main characters i'm pretty sure the boys in license a solid not solid a transparent green a see-through green the g fuel energy formula right there with a nice outline color scheme of blue and green i'm pretty sure a nice neon green for the top lid and a tilted black gray silver how you want to say it and then as well as the mixture piece for looking inside like a charcoal silver charcoal or something it's like a mix of colors and that's pretty much for the boy shaker and very nice shaker love the color scheme and love the design you know i can't wait to see the other one that they released this month now we're on to the flavor the boys temp b g for energy formula we give you guys a full loop around on this amazing tub design right there folks g fuel energy formula temp b the flavor is named the boys the potion right there of course 40 servings we got the boys not the boys but we got the main character superhero to a villain a female superhero 
And then we got the reaction endurance reaction endurance energy and focus just like the collector's box down there a nice silver gray and white in the bottom porch line and we got a nice background design of the of the tub as the um, background as uh, from the collector's box vault vault thought vault international pretty sure the superhero's name just like the collector's box the background with the little mini logos well that's pretty much i have for the tub design let me crack it open and give it a smell okay that was easy since there was an open area already lift this up boom let's give this a quick smell i can smell lemon and a bit of that lime the greenness hmm it's gonna be an interesting flavor right here let's smell both of them Let's see if it tastes sour because sometimes the sour flavors are pretty light or pretty strong depending on how they make it. But let me go grab a shaker and fill that up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. I have the flavor all shaked up in my Dagna D shaker. A like neon green color that we got going around here in the shaker. Just like the whole thing that we have here. Nice green color, gooey color. Let's give this another smell. Okay, I smell lemon and lime for sure again, but more. Hmm, smells very good though. Let's see if it tastes good. Cheers. Let's try this out. Not bad. It's not bad. I have surely tasted that before that combination like in a slushy form or in a um, soda form juice form I taste that before a little light a little light probably because I put less powder probably let me put a little bit more powder so I can taste that a bit more get the full experience you know I think that's good enough let me grab another taste Okay, it takes a bit more in there. It's less light. Mmm, for the lemon and lime, it's very weird. I get mixed feelings like I get one chunk and then I get the other. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, say 50 50, I'll say. No. 60 on the lemon part, 40 on the lime. Cause I get more lemon than the lime. The, um, for both, for both combination of the lemon and lime, it's not a super strong sour taste. That's what surprised me. It's a very light sour taste. Still get the sour of course, but it's just light. Not too aggressive, not too bitter. Just super light. That's pretty much what I get for the sour part. Mm -hmm. It's mainly the lemon that brings it out. The lime, I don't get it much in there. But still, pretty light. Not too aggressive. Like, say, sour, like, sour blue chocolate was a strong taste. All the flavors were strong. Sour cherry was one of them. Probably a few others, but this one, it's not like too aggressive like those. Too sour. It's pretty light. Light work. But let's get a couple more sips of this. It has a kick to it. It's like an aggressive kick. It's not smooth, of course. Balanced, I would say a bit, but it's not like it's up and down between the lemon and lime. It's not super balanced, just a little, maybe a little bit. And the uh, aggressiveness is just mainly on the lime part because you know lime is a bit more bitter than the lemon, in my opinion, in my perspective view. Because I usually use the lime than the lemon. The lemon is not too much aggressiveness. It's just the lime mainly. The feeling is amazing. The texture is amazing. Just say a bit balanced and a bit aggressive. That's pretty much what I can say for this flavor. Above is not the worst or the best. But like it has these mixed feelings. It's up and down. It's just not like a perfect balanced form or nothing. 
just like goes it's like a wave in the ocean just goes up and down up and down makes feelings about it but other than that that's pretty much what i have for this flavor not a super aggressive flavor not a super balanced flavor it's just a nice original flavor taste texture everything about it it's lime and lemon of course and the sour kick that's all pretty much there's nothing difference between it there's no other flavors additions or nothing i want to say it's too bad or too good but i would say it's in between if i already mentioned that what's it called if i had to rate it i would probably rate it an 8.6 out of 10 8.6 pretty good rating for for this flavor i thought i was gonna rate it lower to be honest but 8.6 that's the number i'm towards to i would quite enjoy this flavor i quite would drink it often but would i grab another top probably not just stick with the one i have and just let it go drain through it if I decide to buy another one in the future, probably, but other than that, it's just like something to drink once in a while. It's not like a super daily thing. Of course, like all the flavors, like super addictive. I'll see. I'm, I'll still keep at 8.6. I want to rate it lower. But that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.